Hi, I'm Rob Freistadt. I'm the Chief of Emergency Medicine at Children's National Medical Center in Washington, D.C. So we've been doing work for several years now um, looking at the relationship between obesity and comorbid diseases. And one of the things we found is that when someone gains weight and becomes obese, they're more likely to have sick fat. Um, the fat in the body changes its phenotype, it becomes inflammatory, and it releases something called exosomes. And these are tiny particles that travel throughout the bloodstream um, and are taken up by organs elsewhere in the body, and they change the way those organs function. Um, they can disrupt glucose metabolism, they can disrupt cholesterol processing, uh, really a multitude of possibilities. Um, to be clear, lean, healthy individuals also release exosomes from their fat tissue, and they're very important in maintaining homeostasis. But when someone gets sick fat, these seem to, the message goes haywire, and they, it makes them even sicker. Um, so where we're, we're presenting data at this meeting, uh, at the ADA meeting, where we looked at individuals who were in the mid-ranges of BMI, so not necessarily obesity requiring bariatric surgery and not lean individuals, but individuals in that middle zone of overweight and obese, some of whom have evidence of metabolic disease like hyperglycemia, insulin, hyperinsulinemia, and others who appear to be metabolically healthy. And what we found is that these adipocyte-derived exosomes in their circulation uh, carry that sick fat uh, message in the metabolically unhealthy individuals. And this message is primarily made up of microRNAs, and those microRNAs are predicted to affect things like insulin signaling and cholesterol processing in various tissues in the body. So where this is going is, is really towards earlier identification of the development of these diseases as opposed to waiting until somebody has biochemical uh, changes that, that give evidence of type 2 diabetes, such as hyperglycemia, hyperinsulinemia, insulin resistance. And by earlier detection, um, clinicians would then be able to intervene when the fat is becoming sick as opposed to uh, when the overt disease, the overt comorbid disease has occurred, um, whether that's intervening with diet and lifestyle for an obese individual or intervening with medication earlier, um, hopefully when the system is more plastic and able to respond to intervention.